I'm Maddie. And I'm Mason. And welcome back to NEC News. Christmas is arriving soon. No, it's not. It's November. I've heard Kenzie and Carson have a story about Christmas in November. Christmas in November is a lovely time for the whole North Andrew community. Now, you might ask, what is Christmas in November? Christmas in November is an event hosted by the North Andrew FCCLA. Multiple vendors in the area come together to sell their products. Some of these businesses have been around for a while, while others are student-run businesses. What products might be sold at this event? Many items are sold at this event, including clothing, ornaments, Tupperware, toys, and more. Santa will be present, too. In particular, we will focus on one student-led organization in particular. PC Designs, Piper Cook at Junior at North Andrew, is bringing her business to this event again this year. She will have handmade jewelry featuring wire-wrapped rocks and stones. Are you excited about Christmas in November? Yeah. Uh, what are you selling? Thank you. Another student who worked at Christmas in November and is going to be there this year is Aspen Cyber. She's a senior at North Andrew and she sells bread. Another senior, Carly Cavanaugh, will be there selling her hand crocheted ornaments and other things. This tradition has been a thing at North Andrew for a long time. All the items you buy and the money you spend will go to the businesses you buy from so they can further their, de their development. So we hope to see you there at the this event on Saturday, November 18th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at North Andrew High School. Did you know there's a junior high basketball tournament at King City? No, I didn't. Uh, Tegan and Lily have a story on that at This Week at N.A. It's been a very busy week at N.A. On Monday, the junior high basketball teams competed in the first round of the King City tournament. The boys won the first game, but the girls came up short. On Tuesday, they entered round two and both teams defeated Maysville. On Thursday, the junior high boys beat King City and placed first in the tournament. The Lady Cards also played against King City and won the consolation. The junior high boys also held a BNC team shootout here at North Andrew on Wednesday. We interviewed Vivian Roller about her thoughts on the season. She said, I think that the season is going okay. We've had some good wins, but also had a few losses. I hope that we can continue to win more and more games as we go on with the season. I think the season will get better as we have more time to practice together. My favorite part of playing basketball is getting to play with my friends and when we win games. Keep up the great work, Cardinals, and good luck with the rest of your season. On Thursday, there is an FFA fall speaking contest at Savannah. We also had a Veterans Day breakfast and assembly on Friday. Next week, there is a junior high game against West Platte on Tuesday and a game at Albany on Thursday. Also on Thursday is the annual FFA Friendsgiving party. That weekend on the 18th, the middle school honor choir will perform at Platte County High School. In addition, Christmas in November will be taking place on the 18th. FCCLA members will work and help with the event, and it is highly recommended to come and look around. This year will be the biggest yet, and the vendors will have a wide variety of gifts and treats that everyone can enjoy. Don't forget, the last day to bring items for the Thanksgiving food drive is the 17th. Enjoy. OG Fortnite is back. Jed and Wyatt have a story about that. On November 3rd, Fortnite released a new season, and the main focus of this season is that they re-released the original map from 2018. Many classic locations have returned, such as Pleasant Park, Loot Lake, Retail Row, Tilted Towers, Shifty Shafts, and Paradise Palms. With the map re-releasing, they also released many classic guns and items too, such as the Scar, Hand Cannon, Shopping Cart, and Tactical Shotgun. In addition, some of the later features of Fortnite, such as sprinting, sliding, and reboot vans, will be staying in the game, so it won't be exactly a one-to-one -one recreation. Fortnite has had an astronomical 44.7 million pe people play 102 million hours of the game in a single day. Later weeks, we'll see additions to the map inspired by the seasons in Chapter 1, such as Snow, Frosty Flights, Sky Comet, 
and the Loot Lake Sky Island. We will see different challenges each week, and it will be updated to match seasons such as Season 5 through Season X. Currently, Week 1 is set in Season 5. Week 2 will be set in Season 6, while Week 3 will combine aspects from Season 7 and 8. Lastly, Week 4, which will be the last for the season, will be set in Seasons 9 and X, combining aspects to have a smaller transition into Chapter 5. What do you think about the new Fortnite season? Uh, I think that it's good. Um, I think it's definitely good that they uh, brought the uh, old maps back and stuff and the old guns. And I think it'd be, it's just going to be really good, you know? Thank you. I'm Maddie. I'm Mason. And have a good week, Cardinals.